You now have a tribe. You belong to a group that is against them, a group of superior intellectual and moral capacity, and then a cause to deal with them. Hey guys, thanks for being here for a very important video about history and mass psychology, which shows us how Revelation 13's Mark of the Beast persecution can become a reality very quickly. So comment your thoughts below. Click on the link in the description for the full message that this video was taken from. Free-floating anxiety is the third precondition for a mass formation event. It's basically free-floating, meaning people are anxious about something and they don't quite know what it is. So I just don't feel right. And I, well, maybe Maybe it's a lack of family, faith, and community. Maybe living online isn't actually how God designed for us to live. And, and speaking of anxiety, the same study that took people off social media and found their loneliness scores dropped 36%. Their anxiety scores also dropped by that same amount, and depression dropped 33%. So that's good news. You replace so much screen time with nature, with, with service, with living life God's way and learning how to be human again. That's God's solution to all of these problems that set the stage Four, here's where it's go time with the mass formation event. A narrative is now distributed to a demonization campaign. To give a place to put that anxiety, a scapegoat, it's them that are to blame, the other. And in latching onto this narrative, now your anxiety has some explanation. They're the reason I'm feeling not right. Yeah, that's the cause of all the problems. So there's a bit of satisfaction in having that scapegoat. And then also, remember, socially atomized, you now have a tribe. You belong to a group that is against them, a group of superior intellectual and moral capacity, and then a cause to deal with them. This is the sad story of history in so many cases and the future. Revelation 13 has a demonized group, commandment keepers, the scapegoated ones for all the natural disasters and stuff. Those who were taking the mark, they will be of the ones that are the moral high ground, persecuting those who are of the commandments of God. And the great cause for them will be to shut them down and it goes to no buy, no sell, and even death decrees. Historically, it was the witches in Salem, the Jews in Germany, the bourgeoisie in Russia in 1917 and many other places as well with the communist revolutions, the, the kulaks in Eastern Europe, the blacks in Jim Crow America, the white farmers in Zimbabwe and South America, in revolutionary France, that's more recent, in revolutionary France going back over 200 years now, the aristocracy, the church, the monarchy, it's just a blob of tissue. Now, I know, of course, that the unborn haven't had that demonization campaign, but how about a neglect campaign of the value of that life? And then more recently, it's a pandemic of the unvaccinated. They're the ones transmitting the virus. 